All right, fellas. So we're back with the the next video or the last video in this uh, this installment, or at least for this portion, the, the heat treating process. Uh, we're going to go over the the tempering of the steel. Uh, we're going to talk about the colors the that the the steel will change as you're heat treating it. Uh, what all is is going on? I uh, hope you guys can are going to be able to see the actual color change in the video itself. Um, I'm not sure how the quality is going to turn out on that. I tried to get as close as possible, but the heat from the forge actually was causing my uh, my camera to overheat and it would stop working on me so I'd let it cool off for a little bit and then come back and start again. So I did quite a few blades. I think I did eight altogether on this one. It took me most of the day to get all eight done with the hardening and the tempering. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and we'll get on with it. Thanks. All right, let me move down a little bit. I trade sides so I can show you guys this. So here's the blade after it's been quenched and that you can see it's got a lot of scale and pits and stuff on the blade and I actually kind of like that but I'll grind all that stuff out of here when I get done fully so what I'm gonna be doing now is tempering so when you quench it it fully hardens the blade uh, when you temper what it what you're doing is you're taking away some of the hardness otherwise it'll be really brittle and the edge won't hold well, the edge will hold really well it's just it'll chip a lot so you got to find a happy medium, and I, I found that uh, like a light yellow or straw or gold or whatever you want to call it, uh, most people call it light straw, is the, uh, the ideal color. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit it in, spine first, or spine down. Uh, the tang is going to go into the, into the coals, and what we're going to see is we're going to see the color start to ride up the blade, and we'll try it, we'll adjust it as we see the colors come up just so we can get the the colors right and we might make the the tip a little bit darker of a color either a dark straw or uh, maybe a blue or whatever just so it doesn't break whenever you're digging into stuff let's get these coals evened out all right i'm going to stick the tang in Try to keep it upright as much as possible. And this process could take a little while before you'll start to see the colors rising up and hopefully you'll be able to see it on the, the camera itself. So as soon as I start seeing the colors, I'll, I'll get back on here. All right, I don't know how well it's gonna turn out on the camera, but if you look down here right in this area here you can see the colors start going up so it's light straw up here actually up here now and then dark straw and then kind of a reddish color of purple and then blue and then like a lighter blue and then it goes to gray at the very end down here and you will see it starts moving up the the tang it's gonna start to get to the blade so what we're gonna do is since the tang is getting it we're gonna flip this thing around a little bit and put it this way Maybe we can get it to to ride up the blade itself. see the, the choil area there and part of the blade is starting to turn. You can see it's turning a dark straw right now. The, the the blade itself is turning a dark straw color. And when it gets to the color you want it, you just dunk it in the quench tank and stop the process. Alright, so I'm hoping the colors are showing up on there. It went a little bit further than I wanted it to. The edge at the point up here went a little bit more uh, 
a little darker than I wanted it to, so it got into the purple. But it's light straw in the cutting area where you're going to do all the fine work. And then it starts to gradually decrease in uh, hardness towards the edge here, which is close enough to what I wanted, but it went a little bit further back this way than I wanted it to. I might decide later on to reheat treat this, but I think I'll just leave it the way it is. and uh, This one will be a gift for somebody uh, that I know specifically will be able to use it the way it's it's tempered right now so the the handle was tempered all the way down to blue or uh, all the way down to uh, the gray area already I'm, not, I'm hoping you got the camera is gonna pick this up the colors Come on, focus there we go so you can see it's really dark straw up here and then it goes into a lighter straw on the edge. And on the back side here. Same thing back here. And the edge here is. It starts getting like a dark straw right in this area. And then a blue or purple. And then blue at the, at the tip. So what we're going to do is I'm going to grab the rest of these blades. And grind them to where they, they're shiny. So I can see the colors. And then. I'll work on tempering all those and I might might do some more video later. Alright fellas, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, Little Bear wanted to join me in the video and say hi. Say hi. Say it. Hi. Alright, he wanted to join me in the video. Uh, we just wanted to say thanks for the views. Uh, thanks for the time you spend watching these videos and, and hope you guys learned something from them at least. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Join the forum if you get a chance. Uh, and like the video if you if you get a chance to as well helps us out helps us produce more videos if, uh, the more likes we get the more views we get on these videos so if you got any friends that might be interested in uh, in bushcraft or self-reliance get them to come over and watch the videos for us it'll it'll help us out tremendously uh, we look forward to the next video and I hope to see you at the fire say bye say it bye, bye. I'm going to try to hold this in my left hand while I'm right, doing this. There we go. This is the, Let me dig this piece of steel We're out. going to be calling the Texas Bush Sorry about the bumpiness if it gets a little bit rough here. And this is just a prototype, so it's All not right, So I'm going to lay it down. You can see I've got into the quench. And the quench is just canola oil. Still a little bit scratchy on it. It's about a gallon of canola oil. The more I try to heat treat in it, because I actually like it a lot. The edge is You can see it's smoking up. It doesn't smell really bad. It smells kind of like the... If you ever worked at a fast food a place, it smells like a deep fryer. Paper. The handles are made out of micarta, canvas micarta. And I'm just Black agitating liner. it up and down. I don't want to go side to side like this because it and may warp the blades. So you go up and down, straight up and down. Off if you want, you can put a piece of paracord through the tube here and the tube at the bottom. And across your fingers, you have a, a guard that holds it in place. Makes it give it a little All bit right. of And I'm going to try to get a better view.